hello guys i am from the future i had to uh, rewrite the act node alone because in the latest version langraph version 3 the the tool executor class that we had used inside of the act node that has been deprecated it does not exist anymore so we are going to do it without using any of these methods okay without using the tool executor class okay so it's going to be very simple so this line we've already written the only change that we are going to do is without using that tool executor we have to invoke the right tool okay so if i come back here okay so we already have the list of tools that we have available i'm just going to uh, take it right here okay so we have this available so from the agent action i am all that i'm doing is i'm go i'm going to take the tool name and then i'm going to take the input okay so we can easily extract that information from the agent action so this is going to be step 1 okay so from step 1 we are getting information about which exact tool the llm wants to call okay so the llm might want to call get system time or it might want to call the search search tool okay so we have both of that information right now the next step here is to basically get access to whichever tool that we need at that particular moment so i'm saying uh, i'm basically just looping through the tools and i'm checking okay which tool name matches with the tool name that the llm wants to call and i'm finally getting the tool function getting access to the tool function okay so i'm basically getting uh, a reference to this or this okay so that is it so once i get a reference to either this or this that i want in the act node i can then invoke it that is it very simple we don't need tool executor uh, in this case at all okay so once we have uh, that particular tool i'm just going to invoke on it right here okay so why do we have this if else very simple if uh, we are dealing with get system time and we have like another few of these things a b whatever in that case we will have to spread it out if not we don't have to spread it out okay so that is what i have done here okay and then finally we are going to get the output and then we are going to add it here okay so it's a very simple uh, alternative uh, also i don't really want to rely keep on relying on these you know langchain classes that they're providing uh, for two reasons one thing is we are not l learning you know exactly how to do it without these classes because they introduce breaking changes especially in production you know uh, we keep on having to change uh, code which i don't really like so yeah this is a this is a much more simpler way of doing it and that is exactly why i wanted to uh, introduce I, I just wanted to make this particular section so thank you i'll see you in the next section